Hey, aloha everybody. This is Ivan Olarte. It's a rainy Sunday afternoon and I thought I'd bring you something again a little different than uh, what you usually find in the ukulele community. Um, basically, um, as you know, the baritone ukulele is usually tuned to the lower strings of a guitar and um, it's kind of annoying in that if you know all the chords and all the strumming in a regular ukulele, um, when you go to a baritone, you kind of have to transpose in your mind what, say, you know, a G chord and a C chord and everything. And even though I play classical guitar, I kind of, when I'm in a ukulele mode, I kind of just want to know my set of chords and the fretboard the same way. So a lot of people I have, have asked about strings, you know, how do you tune them? Do you tune them up? Is there any string out there that you can tune the same? Um, Aquila actually makes strings, I forget the name of him, but you can get baritone strings that will sound exactly the same as your tenor. It doesn't really even sound that much deeper. I guess it sounds deeper, but in pitch it's exactly the same, so eh, it's okay. I mean, I, I love my tenor. I don't know really what it brings to the baritone to have the same octave, the same pitch. Uh, they're nice strings. But in, in my search, I found a, a family-owned company, um, I think they're from Mexico, and uh, called Guadalupe, Guadalupe Strings. Um, and they make all kinds of strings for guitar mainly, but they also make ukulele strings. And lo and behold, they make a low octave um, GCEA set of strings, and either in reentrant or in low G, which is really, really cool. Excuse me. Come on, Skip. Come on. Have to let the dog in. Um, anyway, they make a, a nice set of, uh, uh, of of low G strings for a baritone that's uh, tuned a, an octave lower. And so I got me a set and they were actually nice enough to send me a high G as well as a low G string. So I tried both, but somehow since you're going down to the, like the bass level kind of things, I didn't really care for the reentrant. So I settled for the low string. So like the classical guitar, this is out of tune, but that's the kind of um, low pitch that you're going to be getting from the baritone and I thought I would share it with you since some people at uh, ukulele underground have been asking about it this is a, um, a you know actually on the cheap side Lanakai baritone that I bought about three four years ago and I don't really use it because again the, you know it just it's I just don't like transposing the chords but I installed the Guadalupe strings and lo and behold it breathed new life into this ukulele to the point where I want to use it on future videos as a backup track. It's not really a bass, but it provides a nice full sound uh, to the same chords that I would play normally on a tenor or, or a soprano. Like an ukulele, you really don't want to be strumming down here a lot if you don't, unless you have a reason. Uh, in here, it's almost like it gets um, buzzy, but it, it's not. It really is just a very deep, low sound. Um, so when I get into strumming, I, I end up strumming up here like you would on a ukulele. You also don't have to play loud because the very bass sound of it kind of projects. Uh, it should cut through a, a typical recording and so on. So uh, what else can I tell you? The high G is actually wrapped in nylon. It's I think it's a steel string wrapped around in nylon. They wrote me, I asked them, they wrote me back. So I, you can't really tell in here, but um, it's white and it kind of feels interesting. It's, it's not like the typical wire bound strings, uh, wire wound. Uh, it's kind of like a nylon feel, but uh, it, it's interesting. Yet the high G was like a regular steel, steel mount. Um, I'm not sure why you would think it would be the same. But anyway, this is the low, the low um, G tuning, which pretty much sounds, you know, sorry for the mistuning, but it's down those registers. Uh, so to show you just a little bit, uh, I'm only doing this in one take. That's why you see me stumbling along and because it's just a quick demo, I just wanted to bring this to you, to your attention for those that like baritones and, and want to explore the same tuning, but an octave lower. So it's worth having baritone in your collection. <laughs> 
So let me play a couple of things and so you can see how like uh, finger picking and how strumming sounds on, on uh, and imagine other, you know, other instruments playing along with it. I don't know that I would play this as a solo instrument, but I'm playing it solo so you can hear the quality. Okay, so let's see. Uh, this is from Once, the movie. resonance. Nice, huh? Uh, not me, but <laughs> um, the way they sound, it really provides a, a classical guitar kind of like accompaniment to your pieces. Uh, you know, this one, of course. from a Colombian folks on uh, Pueblito Viejo that uh, I want to record one of these days. Uh, let's see, and one more to uh, kind of finish this up so you can hear the sound. Um, this is something that I want to record for my grandson, you know, Max.
actually I'm gonna do one more thing just to kind of show you since it sounds like a classical guitar uh, let's do a little bit of uh, shall we say Spanish jamming <laughs> so of another song that you've heard before probably Getting these strings for a ukulele player is like having a, to be able to sound a little classical, a little Spanish, right with everything else that you're playing. So a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Okay. So check it out. Um, Guadalupe baritone strings, either high or low G. I believe they're $12 plus shipping. Mainline uh, ukulele also sells them, but to be completely honest, I'd rather go right to the family business and buy it from them. I also told them I liked it so much, I would share this uh, with the world, I guess. And so that's another reason why I'm here. Guadalupe, Ai Chihuahua, excellent strings, okay? So go out, check it out, put them on your baritone and enjoy them. Aloha.